Hi. Let's see. Hi, this is Elliot Fishman. I am waiting for um, this to go live. Okay, we're now live. Hello, how's everybody? Hope everyone's doing great. And uh, my hair is disheveled, but uh, hello, hello, September 5th. Hope you had a great long weekend. I hope those of you on the East Coast really enjoying this uh, nice, cool weather. And I hope our friends in California, I know I heard on the radio that the temperature is in the 100 degree level. So I hope everybody's okay in California and, and Las Vegas and Arizona and all those places where they're having a lot of high temperature. Um, the, um, I, I, there's a, I, I wanted to show you something which I can't show here, but there's this thing. Look at that. It works on the thing. So my, uh, my associates in New York who are a lot younger than me told me that uh, they showed me some tricks like you can do this thumbs up uh, thumbs down well I guess yeah look at that it's raining oh my goodness so you could do it on your iPhone you could do this it's supposed to do something well maybe not everything works yeah balloons look at that okay unbelievable you've now learned something it, it goes by a term but every like eight-year-old knows this so I thought it was only on the iPhone. I was showing it. We had a meeting in the lab a few minutes ago. And I did something by accident. And uh, with the hard thing, and I just because this is the typical Steve Jobs thing, right? And the people didn't know how did that happened. And then I, I didn't know it was on Zoom, but now I know it's on Facebook Live as well. So anyway, you can make all sorts of social comments. Uh, there's like eight of them. My daughter sent me a note. I, I can, maybe I'll post it after where you can look and find this eight of them. You can get lightning, I think, if you did, um, what is it, something like hook em horns or something. I'm really giving you a lot of information. Look at that, lasers. Oh my goodness. All right, now for CTF lymphoma. Now that I've really told you something important, let me teach you something even more important. So we do lots of CTF lymphoma. All of us do, right? We stage disease, we follow up disease. I saw a wonderful case uh, the other day of, uh, patient several years ago, had multiple masses, liver, spleen, kidneys everywhere, has wonderful response. If you look at the scan from today, it looks like scarring in the liver, the kidneys, and the spleen. It looks like old infarcts or something. But patient had massive tumors, five centimeters, maybe even more, and now there's nothing there. Wonderful response with scarring. We typically think about lymphoma, neck, chest, abdomen, pelvis, looking at nodes, the presence of nodes, 1.5 centimeter or greater. In most cases with lymphoma, the nodes are multiple and large, usually not too difficult a scenario. Um, obviously, people also use PET scanning to really get a good spectrum of involvement. But let me talk a little bit about solid organ involvement. In the chest, we typically see adenopathy, but you also can see involvement of the pericardium. You can see involvement infiltration of cardiac chambers looking like a primary sarcoma or metastasis. You can see involvement of the pericardium you can see involvement of the myocardium. So you can see multiple uh, different, um, different components in the chest as well. Obviously, we can see uh, rib involvements. So you can see pleural base masses or extra pleural masses. Uh, you can see masses in the sternum, you know, stage four disease. In the solid organs, lymphoma is seen, but it's hypovascular masses. The organ may not be enlarged, though you can have infiltration of the liver or spleen by lymphoma, and you have big, big lymphoma, this infiltration, and you don't see focal lesions. So size, kidneys, um, liver, spleen can all be large. But you also can see um, focal lesions, which are typically hypovascular. They can be single or they can be multiple. You can see them in the liver. They typically, they can cause ductal rotation by mass effect. You see them in the spleen. You see them in the kidneys. In the kidneys, you can see sol solitary mass or bilateral mass is more common. You can see perirenal space involvement. Remember, you can see just the mass in the perirenal space. Most common things are lymphoma and melanoma. You can see perirenal infiltration. Then you talk about lymphoma. You talk about Erdheim chester disease. You talk about extramedullary hematopoiesis. You talk about potential bleeding. But lymphoma is one of the good things that do that. Uh, we talk about obviously muscle involvement. Muscles tend to be enlarged with lymphoma. I mentioned bony involvement. Um, 
or infiltrative at times, soft tissue mass and bone, so you can see that infiltration. Uh, or you can just see bony involvement, can be expansile, can be flat bones like ribs with a big soft tissue mass. So all of that is possible. One thing to remember is that if you, if you only look at non-contrast scans, you are gonna miss, even when there's extensive involvement, you'll often miss organ involvement because the lesions are best seen with contrast. Now, you could get by, sometimes arterial phase shows better than venous, but I will admit that arterial or venous, both of them show the, um, the stuff really well. So it's really not gonna be a problem for you uh, to look at that. So that, that, that works out very, very nicely. So I think it's very important when you're staging lymphoma or following lymphoma to look very carefully at the solid organs. You know, we tend to focus on the nodes, which is something you need to focus on, surely, but you wanna do more than the nodes. You wanna look at solid organ involvement. As I mentioned, you can't see muscle involvement, you can't see bone involvement, and with good response to therapy, things may decrease in size, they may disappear, or in solid organs, you may see what looks like scarring, and you're thinking about inflammation, infection, infarction, when you're looking at spleen especially, but also kidneys, and also into some degree liver. So again, something very much to consider. In terms of involvement, I'll just focus on the kidneys for a moment. Um, the uh, presence of tumor by lymphoma, you can have primary lymphoma involving kidneys, can look like a renal cell. It won't be a clear cell because clear cells are vascular, you'll be thinking more papillary. When you see multiple lesions, you're gonna think about lymphoma. There aren't that many things that give multiple bilateral lesions, for example. You can have a renal mass that gives multiple lesions, that's very uncommon, and surely not multiple lesions. You can have melanoma can do the same thing. Melanoma lymphoma can look almost identical organ by organ. You also can consider the fact that if you're having vast, you know, if you're having hypodense masses, solid, not vascular in, in an organ, one or many, you gotta think about lymphoma. And again, as I mentioned a few moments ago, lymphoma has a lot of appearances from solitary mass, large or small, typically large, in the kidneys, to multiple masses in one kidney, to multiple masses in both kidneys. Lymphoma can involve the adrenal glands, solid masses, keeps the adrenal shape. We just published an article a few months ago on cinematic rendering of primary adrenal uh, lymphoma. So you may see only uh, involvement of the uh, adrenal. You may see only involvement of the kidneys. You may see only liver or only spleen. I have to admit in cases with liver or spleen, you tend to see adenopathy. In cases with kidney, I've seen a lot of them with big masses and no adenopathy and adrenal. I've seen adrenal only with no adenopathy. I don't think I've seen adrenal kidney and nothing else. So that's probably not a good combination. Um, so those are the main things. And again, from a perspective, IV contrast is mandatory for looking at staging lymphoma. You can get by with water as a contrast agent to look at the bowel. Perry Pickard wrote a nice article why positive contrast works well because you can have implants on bowel, you can have masses in the mesentery, and if the bowels collapse, you just assume you're dealing with um, uh, unopacified bowel rather than uh, recognizing the presence of mesenteric nodes. So perhaps the best protocol for looking at lymphoma, staging, detecting, might be venous phase imaging with IV contrast, obviously, and with positive oral contrast material. You wanna make sure you distend the stomach, stomach infiltration. We used to talk about big bulky tumors now, they're more subtle, and sometimes lymphomatous involvement of the stomach looks identical to linitis plastica or just a gastric adenocarcinoma. So unless you have the stomach distended, you will make those mistakes. So with that, hopefully that'll help you a little bit about lymphoma. And uh, I guess I can do this and say, uh, um, have a great day and uh, see you next time. Hey, what can I tell you? All right, everybody, uh, have a great day. Bye-bye.